here's a quick video on adding a additional port for an oil pressure uh, sending unit. In this vehicle here, this is uh, an 85 Dodge 150 with an LA318 motor. This would be applicable to pretty much any motor that has a port similar to this, so the 360, 318, probably the only ones that you're gonna have issues with because you don't really have a secondary port. You can add a adapter to your oil filter and um, have a port on there. They do sell the 90 degree oil filter adapters, but they're a little bit tricky to do on a four wheel drive. Um, you just don't have much room to change the direction of that oil filter. So the quickest, easiest way to add another port now the th LA318 has actually two. It has the the big sender, and they, they sell some different ones that are a little bit smaller than this um, for the mechanical gauge, and then I believe there's an idiot light in that vehicle too, in this vehicle. But I wanted to leave all that alone and try to leave it factory and then add a, another gauge. In order to do that, I'll show you a quick way to do that. So the quickest way to do that, to add another gauge, mechanical gauge, is to go to your hardware store and get a brass T, uh, one eighth. Um, this is a three three sided with. Um, course the female and you're gonna do something like this this is a 45 um, and I did this this way so I can get that thing out of the way um, from the distributor it is so close to that distributor that it actually the vacuum port touches this so I would need to do I would have needed to probably do anything do something anyway just to move out of the way if I didn't get a smaller one of these but that's, that's the quick fix for you there. So that's less than $10 in parts to get to making a T. So I could put this in. And of course this gauge, these gauges come with the plastic tubing and I just went with um, the copper. So that's it.